So now we have a triangle mesh, which is indexed and beautifully textured and has normal maps, and it's great. And we used something like Maya or Max to create it. And so all of the vertices of this triangle have been built relative to some origin, some, some local origin in Maya or Max. We want to take this mesh because it represents an interactive object in our game, a monster or a chair or something. We want to be able to move it around the game. So after, this is the origin by the way, I just drew the origin, that's what this was. Zero, zero, zero is the origin. And we want to be able to move it around in our game. So after we pass it to the video card, we are also going to pass a matrix to the video card, which I'm going to call the model matrix, or M. The purpose of this matrix is the video card will take every vertex of every triangle and pass it through the model matrix. So we can make a model matrix that, for example, translates a vector 10 feet to the right, and the video card will take every single vertex in our triangle mesh and transfer, transfer it, run it through this matrix and transfer it 10 feet to the right. That's exactly what we want. And of course, we've already learned how to make a translation or rotation or scaling matrix. And so we can make any matrix we want, pass it to the video card, and the video card is really, really good at, at doing these matrix transforms fast. That's why we have these video cards. It uses tricks like parallel processing. I forgot the name. So after it runs every vertex of this mesh, through the model matrix, then all of the triangles are positioned in global space. Then it goes to another trick that we've discussed, which is the camera matrix. I'm gonna get rid of this so we can make room for the camera matrix. Camera matrix. It was the model matrix. So our vertex, I'm gonna represent by V. V. V actually represents every single vertex so I'm gonna, I'll call it V star actually, because it's special, that's a star. It represents every single vertex in the mesh. They all get passed through this M matrix. And then after they go through the M matrix, they get passed through C, which is the camera matrix. Camera, and this one was the model. The camera matrix, which I discussed in a previous video, transforms the points, the vectors, into the local space of the camera. And then after that, everything gets passed through the perspective matrix, which we've also previously discussed. The perspective matrix, which applies perspective to our models. So then really, the trick to moving models around in our world and, and, and making them interactive is just to pick a model, an appropriate model matrix, and then the video card will do the rest of the work for us. So let's go to the code and, and do that. So instead of going and making every vertex individually by hand in the code, I've created a little utility right here that it doesn't actually render the box, it just creates a buffer with all the vertices for a box so that we have a, and it creates, then it'll create a vertex buffer out of that just so that we have a mesh to work with. And then when we go to the code that renders it, I've created a scaling rotation and translation set of matrices that we can use to create the model matrix that is going to transform this mesh. And that'll be, and this is all review from previous videos, so I'm not gonna get into it, but we do translation times rotation. I should have by this point have provided some links to the videos where I go over all this matrix stuff. So now we just have to pass into the video card this model matrix. And done. When I Just by doing that, it will take all of the vertices in that mesh and individually pass them through my model matrix that I made and transform all of the individual vertices to get this model that is 
now spinning and moving and scaling just like the way we want it to. So that's it for this little sub-series on, on, oh my God, I've already forgotten what they called, uh, triangle meshes. <laughs> and next time, for the next sub-series, we are going to look at how to program the video card to make it do more cool and amazing things uh, and, and see how it handles normal maps and texture maps and lighting and that Lambertian surfaces stuff I promised earlier. It's going to be really, really cool and it's one of my favorite parts of game programming. See you there.